Hello, students at Bog School, Clifford Academy, and students around the world. We hope you're excited because you're going to produce your own Romeo and Juliet puppet show. Thanks to our friends, Strategic Staffing Solutions, proud partner of Shakespeare in Detroit's Shakespeare Steam. And here we go. So the first thing that I did was I took this box and I cut the back out. This gives the place for the actor to put their arm in so that the puppet can come out. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and decorate the front. We want to make it look like the front of a house with a balcony. I'm going to pick this yellow construction paper because it looks nice with Juliet's purple outfit. But you can color it, you can use markers, you can use fabric, you could use whatever you like. It's all up to you, and it's up to your imagination. We just want to give it a nice, solid background so that she stands out. There we go. We'll put a couple more pieces of tape. You can also use your glue stick that you use for the puppets, but it's totally acceptable to use whatever you have at home just to make it work. And of course, if you're painting it or if you're coloring it, you won't need tape at all. This is what we had around at Shakespeare in Detroit but we're trying to use the materials that we have. So there we go. There's the front. The front is all set up. Now we need to decorate it. We need to have flowers and maybe some other things growing up it. I made some vines here out of green paper that I twisted up. I'll show you how I did that. I took long strips and I cut them out and now I'm gonna crumple them up because the paper is easier to twist it once it's been crumpled. So that just gives us a little easier to work with. And there we go, we're twisting, and we're twisting, and the paper might rip, that's okay, but if you're painting it or if you're doing anything else, you can do it however you like. But that just gives us some texture and something fun. So there you go. Now what I'll do is I'll take some tape, and I'll put some at the bottom of our vine, just like that. And I'll place it right there on the front. And then let's decide where else should this vine go. Maybe it winds a little bit over this way. So we'll give it another twist. And we'll put it there just like that. And we probably need another one just to help secure it, I would think, at the top. And so we give it one more piece. And look at that vine climbing up the wall. Well, now that vine needs some flowers. So what should we do? Maybe we could put a little rose on there. That might be neat. But let me show you how to make that rose first. Same way as you would the vine, take a strip of red paper. Then you can crimp it just like that and start wrapping it around itself. And every so often, if you give it a little crimp, you'll get a fun little wrinkle in the fabric. And that helps make it looks like makes it look like the petals of a rose. How neat. And then you tape the bottom of it with our tape. And that kind of holds it all in place. Something fun. Maybe you could find some cool fabric or even real flowers if your mom or whoever gardens has some nice flowers outside. But make sure you ask first. Don't just take the flowers. There you go. We put a flower on there. Here's another little daisy that I cut out of a piece of paper. Maybe we'll put that on too. And we just take some more tape and we add it on. Now if you put too much tape, it's okay. Just put it over the vine. It'll help hold it on. So you go ahead and you can cover your box with all of these vines however you like. And you can put as many or as little flowers on there as you want. And that, friends, is the best way to start making a stage for your awesome box puppets. In the next video here, I'm going to show you a couple of different examples of different balconies that we made. And you'll even get to see the balcony that Miss Laura uses when she does the play herself. Stay tuned. And finally, we have a few examples of different ways that you can make a balcony. Here's the box that we just created a little earlier. Over here is two paint cans that we covered with some fabric, but you could use coffee cans or anything else that you like and maybe get a sheet or a blanket. And over here, we have a laundry basket that we took some fake flowers and foliage 
and wove it through because the laundry basket kind of looks like a trellis. All of these are things that most people have at home. And I'm sure a lot of you have these home, at home as well. So we hope that you get creative and you use your imagination and find something awesome to make a balcony with. Thanks. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And always, always remember to send us your pictures of your creations so that we can show everybody on our Facebook page. Have a great day.